So what I have here in these cans is some boiling water. We're boiling that water so that we can fill them with steam. And then what we're going to do is quickly cool down that steam into liquid water by inverting the can into this bucket of ice water. When we do that, the weight of the atmosphere is going to be able to press onto those cans because the, uh, the atmosphere inside the can, the atmospheric pressure inside the can is going to drop um, significantly because our gas is going to be converted into a liquid. So here we go, let's give it a shot. This time we're going to try it with a quart-sized paint can. Gallon-sized paint can. going to do a five gallon metal can now. So I'm going to pour some water in. I'm going to show you this one from beginning to end. And let's go ahead and get it warming up. This time, because this is such a large can, we're going to have to use a swimming pool that I've placed some ice into to assist us in cooling down this can rapidly. We're going to tighten up the lid so we make sure no gas makes it into the can while we're trying to do the cooling. We tighten it up. We're going to place it into icy pool, try and get some ice under it. And now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to pour cold water over the top of this. Now I'm going to do this with a 55 gallon drum. So I'm gonna go through the stages with you. I'm gonna start by pouring water into my drum. I poured about 300 milliliters of water. I wouldn't advise you to do this on your own, but it's very important um, when you're using a drum like this to make sure that it has never been used. This is a, a pristine drum. So nothing has been inside of it. You definitely would not want to do this experiment that I'm about to show you um, with a drum that has been exposed to any kind of organic solvent as that could be very, very dangerous. So again, nothing has been inside this drum until just now when I poured that water in. Okay, so at this point I am heating the drum. Uh, I'm using a propane heater like you would uh, uh, cook a turkey um, with if you were deep frying a turkey. You could also use hot plates 
um, for this, uh, I find that the burner um, allows the drum to heat up uh, very rapidly. So we're going to allow this to heat up and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've been boiling this for um, a good solid probably seven or eight minutes at this point. You can see the steam coming out. And so at this point, we're ready to go ahead and take it off of the uh, burner and, uh, and get it cooling down. So I'm going to drop the cap in here real quickly. I'm going to shut off our heat. And I'm going to set this down and tighten the cap up. We don't want any air coming into it while we try and do this. Okay. So like I did for the previous um, example with the five gallon can, we're going to put this into a swimming pool to help us cool it down. Now I'm going to go ahead, we're going to pour ice across the top of it. And get it cooling. than the previous examples that we did because this is a pretty big can it's pretty strong and so uh, when it goes is up to it so what we're going to do is we're going to watch it and you'll know when it crushes <laughs> 